place for kids learn to be creative thinkers. I'll be your host, Zoe Brown. During this bedtime book adventure, we will dive into a girl's love of her hair in I Love My Hair by Natasha Anastasia Tarpley, illustrated by E.B. Lewis. We see all the combs and the braids and all this. I love my hair. Every night before I go to bed, Mama combs my hair. I sit between her knees, resting my elbows on her thighs like pillows. Mama is always gentle. She rubs coconut oil along my scalp and slowly pulls the comb through my hair. But sometimes it still hurts. When Mama gets to especially tangled places, I try my hardest not to cry, sucking in my breath and pressing my hands together until they're red. But a few tears always manage to squeeze out. Mama, stop! I cry when I can't stand the comb tugging at my hair any longer. Mama puts down the comb down and rubs my hurting places. Then she leans close to me like she has a big secret to tell. Do you know we're so lucky to have this head of hair, Kiana? She asks. I shake my head no. Because it's beautiful and you can wear it in any style you choose. I can spin your hair into fine silk, silk soft yarn, just like our grandmothers did at their spinning wheels and weave it into a puffy little bun. Or, I can part your hair into straight lines and plant rows of braids along your scalp, the way we plant seeds in our garden, and wait and watch for them to grow. In the morning, before we walk to the store, Mama adds colorful beads to the ends of my braids. The beads click to the rhythm of my walk, helping me remember what we're going to buy. Clickety clackety. Milk, bread, peanut butter. Folks on the street look at me and smile as I dance along to the tap, tap, clickety clack. Music my hair makes just for me. Some days I just let my hair be free to do what it wants and to go any which way it pleases. Then my hair surrounds my head like a globe. This is my apple star. There, and look, here is the part of the globe. Once when I wore it, the kids at school teased me. My head felt heavy and I hanged it down low. But my teacher made me feel better. She said that when I, she was growing up, folks counted their hair as a blessing. Wearing an apple was a way for them to stand up for what it they believed to let the world know what they were proud of, who they were, and where they came from. I love my hair because it's as thick as a forest, soft as cotton candy, and curly as a vine winding upwards, reaching the sky, and climbing towards outer space. Today I'm wearing it my favorite style of all. Two ponytails stick out on either side of my head and flap in the air like a pair of wings. One of these days, I just might take off and fly. The end. That was a good book to teach us to love ourselves no matter what. I will see you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central for Kid Bits with Zoe Brown Bedtime Book Adventures. Also, next Wednesday, next Sunday is Father's Day, so don't forget to spoil your dad with lots of attention and love. Good night.